Hello guys, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica. Today I am going to do one palette, two looks with the OPV Beauty Spotlight Palette. This is how it looks. It's very, very slim. Uh, this is like not new, but I bought this at Beauty Bay. They had a sale and when I'm filming this, they still have a sale, but I will leave the price down below here, uh, what the, uh, the original price of this, but um, I don't know if it's going to be on sale when you see this, but I was absolutely blown away with this palette. I didn't think I would love it that much, but I, I am really, really impressed with this. I mean, this green, this green, this is a duochrome. I used this in a look as well, the first look, and it's a green turning into a purple. And it's so foiled and blinding. I can say it kind of is the same as the same level as the Cleonad stained glass collection. Almost. Uh, it's amazing. This is more like an orange turning into a green new chrome. This is what I have on my lid. I mean, come on, it's a metallic blue out of this world. Beautiful. This red is absolutely gorgeous and you have a few browns and reds and oranges and a black matte here. And yeah, I can just say I absolutely adore this and get a little mirror as well. Uh, yeah, as I said, I have done one, uh, two looks with this palette. So yeah, this is look number two, but let's go into look number one. So now I'm going to do the first look with the OPV Spotlight palette and I really want to use this green. It's like a, oh, a duochrome green. So this is the Notoriety, this one, and then I want to use these like reds and oranges. So I'm going to start with this glimmer color. So I'm just going to put it in my crease. Start to buff it like this. And I just put it a little bit under here as well. And now I'm going with this color, this edge color and just kind of doing the same, but not as high up as the orange. And now I'm going with this star, this one. I'm going to deepen up a little bit in my outer part. I'm taking this black and I'm just gonna take a very small amount of product and just like deepen up over here. And I'm going to take this star now and a little bit of black as well, just underneath my eyes. And I'm taking the black on this flat brush, just very close right here, kind of in the outer part actually. So guys, let's see. So now I'm going in with a shimmer. Oh my God, this is so beautiful, this color. So I'm going in with this, this Notoriety and I hope you can see, it's kind of like a duochrome, like a green shifting to purple and it's absolutely stunning. So I'm just going in without spraying my brush. Oh, I really need to spray my brush just because the fallout. <laughs> I don't want the fallout because I have a lot of fallout right now. Oh my god, this is so stunning. As you can see, I have a lot of fallout. 
but it was my fault. <laughs> I really should spray my brush. This is a crazy color. I hope you can see how beautiful this is. This is kind of like this dual chrome from Cleonard, you know, the stained glass. Maybe with maybe not with that really strong shift, the dual chrome shift, but this has definitely like a dual chrome shift in it as well. And it's very very foiled. I love this shimmer. This is so so foiled. I really hope you can see. This is amazing. And when I like shift my brush like this in the light, you can see green now, but I can definitely see purple, like a really strong purpley shift. And that's so so cool. And I love it with this red, like this wine red color in the crease. I'm in love with this shade, definitely. This looks so, so pretty. Now we will see what we are going to do. I'm just gonna take like a small brush and then we're gonna like deepen out the outer part. I'm gonna take the black and just deepen up a little bit here. Just like so, really love this look. It's like really, really grungy and dark. And do we want something more? Maybe we want something underneath just to try it. Maybe I'm gonna try this color right now. Uh, this is the Sparkle, this one. It looks like a more cool tone green like a bluish green and maybe we're gonna try that underneath I'm gonna take like a small small brush I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna spray my brush so we don't get any fallout and just see how this is okay I'm just putting it underneath I'm gonna take that in a the one we have on the lid and just put it like in the inner part here and just maybe wrap this up a little bit like around my eyes and just connect it like this. Is that too much? I'm not sure but it looks pretty. Now when I've used this color I def now I have the palette, but if I knew, I would buy this palette just for this specific color because this is amazing. I really love this. So I'm gonna put something in my waterline, I'm gonna put some lashes, mascara and all that, and we come back and do the lips. So now I'm back with the finished look, guys. I put something on my lips. I put the Sephora Lip Stories. This is in the shade Golden Gate. Look at that, very like a plummy, purpley color. And I put something in my waterline as well. I put this Vicon Long Lasting uh, Eyeliner in the shade, I'm just gonna show you because it's so stunning, in the shade Jade Green and you can see it's almost matching this color and it looks so good with this eye color this green it has kind of a like a sheen to it like a yeah like a sheen to it and yeah guys I'm gonna give you the close-up I'm just gonna show you the shift. Now, when I look in the mirror, you can see that my lid is purple. Then you can see the duochrome in this one. It's absolutely stunning. And 
yeah i just needed you to see that i'm really obsessed with this look oh my god i love it so much i love the shades i choose today oh my god this palette it's something special about this but yeah guys this was a look number one so let's go into look number two so now it's time for the second look with the spotlight palette and i really need to use this shade this dream because it's absolutely gorgeous and i thought i would have like a brown crease so i'm gonna take this public eye i'm gonna use this dazzle night and yeah i just think we can start with this public eye color so i'm just starting to buff this into the crease with a very fluffy brush. I like this brush. This is from uh, the Cleonad Stained Glass, Glass Collection and I got it in this tri box, um, tri box and I really really like it because it gives like a really really nice and smooth uh, result with the shadows because it's very very soft and fluffy so you can really blend the shadows very easily with this brush now i'm going in with this dazzle night right yes dazzle night this is the darkest brown color i'm just gonna place it here in the outer part first and then we're gonna start to blend it into a crease I think I want to go in with the black as well, just a little bit like in my outer part, just to deepen the really, really outer part up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this expose, no, exposure, <laughs> this one. I think this looks good. Now I want to put the shimmer on the lid. I'm going to take this a dream, as I said, this one. And this is a stunning color, guys. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm going to spray my brush because I don't want any fallout, but these are so, can you see how much that picks up? And it's just so foil and beautiful, this shadow, so. Come on, this is so stunning. Ooh. If you like blue shadows, so this is like a dream. It has a little bit of fallout anyways, even if I sprayed my brush, so beware. So now I'm happy with how this looks and now I just want to deepen up the outer part. I'm going to take like a small brush again. I'm going to take that black, the black color and just fill in here in the outer part, just meet them up with that blue. just like so and what do we want to do on the little lash line maybe we should try to do something maybe we should take like inner corner highlight and drag it a little bit i'm thinking of this limelight this one i'm gonna start with that actually i'm gonna start with the inner corners and drag it a little bit just underneath as well. So I'm spraying this shadow as well. Like that. Maybe 
we should try another blue as well just to try them out i'm gonna take this hype now and it feels like this is more like a periwinkle blue shimmer so i'm gonna take like a very very small brush and i'm gonna spray it as well and we're gonna put it here underneath like just very close to the lash line that is pretty i think i'm done with this look so Oh my god i love it i really really do i like this metallics and the blue i'm gonna put something in the waterline i think i'm gonna take prints from colourpop the light blue and then i'm gonna do some liner mascara lashes and then we come back and do the lips or maybe i have done the lips when we are back so yeah i'll be right back guys so now i'm back guys and here comes your close-up And I put something in my waterline. I put the gel liner from Colourpop, the BFF in the uh, shade Prance, as I told you, like a very light blue. And then I put something on my lips. I put this Gerard Cosmetic uh, lipstick in Mystic Moon. I got this in the try box and I really, really like it because it's very like cool tone grayish a little purple in it and i think it looks good with like a cool tone blue look and yeah guys let's talk a little bit about the palette now you've seen two looks and i can just say i love this palette oh my god it's so so good so i really really recommend you to get it if you like these dark metallic duochrome shades and a little more like deeper deeper colors uh, this is absolutely stunning and I just think it's it has a perfect like mixture first I thought it had not that many mattes I mean you have browns and you have like burgundy reds and orange but I think it goes very well with these this color scheme so I don't mind that and as I said, the shimmers are amazing. There contains a lot of fallout though, so beware. Uh, it's just like getting everywhere. So if you're doing your base first, maybe you can powder underneath or so, but um, they are very, very creamy, easy to pick up and super foiled. They have like a special formula. You can see like the glitter specks almost in uh, some of these shades and absolutely in love with this palette um, I'm gonna do more looks with this um, I'm gonna use this a lot when I go to work I think because it has a lot of nice I mean this red I mean look at that absolutely gorgeous so guys I really hope you enjoy this little video this one palette two looks with the spotlight palette and yeah I upload Monday Wednesday Friday so I really hope I see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in my next video take care guys bye